When you're outside and either you're doing a circuit workout or you're doing a lot of exercise, there are a couple of systems inside your body that will counteract each other. For example, um, the localized blood flow that you get to working tissues. Your body prioritizes that by sending blood to the muscles that are working. So if you're doing a lot of running or a lot of, you know, you say you're doing a push-ups and jumping jacks and a whole bunch of stuff, those body parts are going to get blood sent to them as a prioritized system. Your body just does naturally. However, when you start getting really hot, your body now has to start sending blood to the surface of your skin so that it can let heat out. That's called radiation or thermal regulation. So when that happens, you've got two systems that are directly counteracting each other. Hey guys, thanks for showing up. In previous videos, I've touted the benefits of working out outside. It's a real experience. You get the sun in your face, the wind, you get a little bit of a tan, and it's, it's a pretty good feeling. Today we're gonna talk about some of the dangers of working out outside. Primarily, how fast heat and over overheating can really get to you in a matter of minutes. Most people, when they're exercising, from one exercise to another, or they're keeping up a pretty good pace, you get a pretty good sweat on. When you come outside, that is sort of magnified and it comes on much quicker. Your body has to use a lot more uh, of its internal water supply to sweat to try to keep your body temperature cool. Um, also, as you get hotter and hotter and hotter, your body has to expend more energy uh, to cool itself down for radiation, to radiate heat, not radiation, to radiate heat. Any sort of outdoor endurance stuff, your body has to expend more and more energy just to keep itself cool. So when that happens, your heart rate's gonna go up and your overall level of power output is gonna go down. So when you start working out outside, um, be sure that you probably won't be able to get the same workouts you do when you're inside a controlled gym where the climate's controlled, there's more rest periods, and there's not that heat and overall um, sun is bearing down on you and, and really taking some of, the, uh, some of the energy out of you. Also, when you're outside and either you're doing a circuit workout or you're doing a lot of exercise, there are a couple of systems inside your body that will counteract each other. For example, um, the localized blood flow that you get to working tissues. Your body prioritizes that by sending blood to the muscles that are working. So if you're doing a lot of running or a lot of, you know, you say you're doing a push-ups and jumping jacks and a whole bunch of stuff, those body parts are going to get blood sent to them as a prioritized system. Your body just does naturally. However, when you start getting really hot, your body now has to start sending blood to the surface of your skin so that it can let heat out. That's called radiation or thermal regulation. So when that happens, you've got two systems that are directly counteracting each other. The prioritized system of blood going to working muscles, but your body's natural defense to radiate heat away from the bodies to bring blood to the surface. So you can see there's a bit of a, of a, a, a conflict between those two systems. Furthermore, I previously talked about uh, getting how heat stroke or overexertion can come upon you relatively quickly. Uh, if you're out here, the sun's bearing down on you, you do either some cardio drills, you can do some stuff really, really quickly. After 10 or 15 minutes, you can be really, really exhausted. So make sure that you're sipping a lot of water, taking frequent breaks. So when you're outside working out, take advantage of some of the great things that the environment has to offer, but you've also got to be wary of some of those factors that can hinder your workout, and not just right now. Uh, a bout of heat exhaustion can really set you up for long-term illness, or can really put you down for a couple of days. If you stay out in the heat for too long, the rest of your day can be a complete washout, and you can put yourself in a really bad situation. So make sure you're mindful of working out outside, and enjoy it primarily. Thanks for showing up, guys.